Melody Triangle is a fun and easy to use app that lets you make music on your mobile phone. There are three tokens on the top left of the screen, and each of these can generate a melody. To generate a melody, just drag a token into the triangle. What is interesting with this interface is that you don't directly control which notes go in your melody, instead you control how predictable the melody is. Broadly speaking, the right hand side of the triangle is more predictable melodies, and the left hand side consists of more unpredictable melodies. So here the token is on the right, and you can hear that the melody is a loop, it's very predictable. How far up or down in the triangle a token is corresponds to how many different notes are involved in the melody. Now, by placing the token somewhere in between, we create melodies that have some structure but are not completely random. For instance, here, we have a melody that will have some predictability, but is not completely predictable. By combining multiple tokens, we can then generate these quite intricate musical textures. Each token has settings that can let you change the instrument. You can choose how many notes per beat there are. to go onto the offbeat. So for now we'll stick to the piano and I'll put it in the high octave. So we've got two piano tokens that are playing in alternating notes. So what we have here is that every other note is quite predictable, uh, whereas every other is rather unpredictable. This app is also a research tool to help understand the relationship between mathematics and music. You can help this research simply by using the app to make music, and whenever you hear something that you like, press the like button, which is the heart on the right hand side. You can listen to the settings that other users have found by pressing the cloud icon and entering into radio mode. In entering into radio mode, the app will download a randomly selected song that was uploaded by another user of the app. You can then skip to the next track by pressing the next button. 